in the media conference with Lal Goyal, which is brought to you by V4 News, Global TV, V4 Stream, Manladu TV, News Gaonse, Samvad Sarokar News, Organ Donation India Foundation and Gyan. Our endeavor is to enlighten you about the current topic every day. And today our topic is 2020 is challenging year for working women. But before I will go to that main topic, I would like to inform you all that India is celebrating National Consumer Rights Day today. In India, we observe National Consumers' Rights Day on December 24th every year. All of us are consumers in some way or the other. In today's day and age, safeguarding consumers' rights have become an important aspect. On December 24th, 1986, Consumer Protection Act 1986 received the approval of the President of India and hence came into force Consumer Protection Act 1986. Consumer Protection Act 1986 ensures speedy and inexpensive settlements of consumer disputes. The eight rights recognized under the Consumer Protection Act 1986 includes six rights of the consumers provided in the UN char Charter. The rights given to consumers under Consumer Protection Act 1986 are right to protection, right of information, right of choice, right of hearing, right of redressal, and right of education. We wish everyone a very happy National Consumer Rights Day. Now coming to our main topic, that is 2020, a challenging year for working women. There is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. The perfect woman you see is a working woman, not an idler, not a fine lady, but one who use, uses her hands and her head and her heart for the good of others. Since the Industrial Revolution, women have increasingly participated in the workforce outside of the home in industrialized nations with particularly large growth seen in the 20th century. Largely seen as a boon for industrial society, women in the workforce contribute to the higher national economic output as measured in GDP, as well as decreasing labor cost by increasing the labor supply in a society. Women's lack of access to higher education had effectively excluded them from the practice of well-paid and high status occupations. Entry of women into the higher professions like law and medicine was delayed in most countries due to women being denied entry to universities and qualifications for degrees. For example, Cambridge University only fully validated degrees for women late in 1947. And even then only after much opposition and acrimonious debate, women were largely limited to low paid and poor status occupations for most of the 90th and 20th centuries, or earn less pay than men for doing the same work. However, through the 20th century, the labor market shifted. Office work that does not require heavy labor expended and women increasingly acquired the higher education that led to better compensated longer term careers rather than lower skilled, shorter term jobs. Lockdown measures and school closures affect girls and women differently across the world and may have long-term negative consequences. Working women have not faced this challenge before. Many across the world have quit their jobs to be at home with their children because schools are shut and childcare is not available. For millions who have managed work and home, the support system that enabled this balance has been pulled off. Women who work all along from maids, cooks, and nannies to nurses, teachers, and lab technicians from customer services and selling agents, counter clerks, and back office staff to managers, supervisors, and decision makers all face risk to their jobs. Choosing between home and job is a tough one for most women. 
working women have managed this tight rope walk by depending on several support systems day care for children ready to eat meals semi processed food easy to pick up grocery assistance in running the home with help for cleaning cooking laundry and other household chores tutors coaches and other support staff to help manage the children's studies projects sports and extracurricular activities and friendly support in the form of group games play dates outings and sleepovers all these ease the burden of running the home for a working mother none of these now exist in the present pandemic world so there was a lots of challenges which were faced by the working women in 2020 and to discuss this we have a very uh, learned elite panel with us uh, where we have four working women as well as one leading psychiatrist in our on our panel today so i would like to invite my first guest and he is dr rajiv anand dr rajiv anand is a senior psychiatrist and marriage counselor dr rajiv anand passed his mbbs in 1976 and did md in psychiatry in 1980 from king george medical college lucknow he opted to serve his country when it was very common to settle abroad for bright, brighter future he has been serving society with his base in mumbai he has clients all over india as well as in many other countries he was honored with lifetime achievement award by ama he has conducted more than 3000 workshops for different groups and companies with audience size of 10 to 800 his television program on various channels have been widely appreciated for his forthright and practical approach he is leading in the field of mental and emotional well-being for 40 years he was president of ima for two times he was interviewed in several talk shows in domestic as well as internationally welcome dr rajiv anand on our show dr rajiv anand you are a leading psychiatrist and you are dealing with almost everyone in the society and especially uh, you are also dealing with the working women so you know better mental status of a working women because the challenges which the working women has faced in the last in this year are uh, not the last year because still we are 5 6 days away from the new year uh, is tremendous because they have to manage home they have to work uh, manage their work also whether it's working from home or going to if they are the warriors then they are they have to attend the duties uh, in person so we would like to know from you the uh, 2020 challenges uh, a challenging year for working women dr rajiv anand please yeah <clears throat> good morning sir thank you mr lal for your kind words and welcome to all the four panelists uh, pt manucha neeta tandon rashi gupta and priyanka kharbanda and welcome to all the viewers across kerala and karnataka and up and bihar and other places to global tv in the beginning let me say that i happen to be a psychiatrist that is different part of my qualification but i happen to be a human being more and i try to understand human being from their individual perspective what they think how they live how they optimize their life how they try how they strive to give the best to the society in that context let me say the last 25 30 years has been the best time ever in the recent history when women have come out of the closest of their four walls of the home and they have surprised and they have shocked the whole world by virtue of their talent their caliber their intensity and their capacity to work this phenomenon has begun abroad little earlier but in our country in our society we have been fortunate to see it almost 25 30 years back onward and this is a new and a great phenomenon as mr lal said few minutes back in contrast to the man who works either through the hand or through the head women they shine ahead they work through the hand through the head 
and through the heart so they have more capacity at their disposal <coughs> traditionally society has taken them as khana banao bache ho bachcho ko bada karo bachcho ko acha student acha civilian banao and that was all and they are all capacities <coughs> to handle other different responsibilities were blind dormant and it's very painful for women that if they have the talent today among us in the audience we have one advocate we have one senior teacher we have another vice principal and we have another lady who is mba who is <coughs> working in a good company now had they not been in these lines they would have been just merely a housewife much of their talent would have been lying dormant and that would have been lost to the society last two decades two and a half decades has brought about this change and has stopped to them till 2020 came and they realized that they were under greater pressure because of these exceptional skills or qualifications or talent if it was not confined to 10 to 5 job or 10 to 6 job demands on them were much more let me admit it the we men including me were very poorly trained for the housekeeping or for the house management or for the kitchen management we were not even intern till the beginning of 2020 many of us know about the intern who are training who come for basic training we were not even intern except making a cup of tea or occasional omelet how many men did know anything any further but this opportunity came that women got opportunity to let those who were not even qualified to be interns let them become sincere serious training and learn many skills which many of us did learn i may not be as fortunate as my son is or other people are but i am sure that many people learn various aspects of house training and that was many women realized that had they had they shared this responsibility earlier things would have been far easier because first three four months went by the confusion the conflict the clashes between the working women and other members of the family because other members of the family have been living in comfort for years to be served a cup of tea ready breakfast ready lunch ready dinner ready wash clothes ready iron clothes ready everything ready you have no idea how much time it takes how much effort it takes how much uh, is needed to to bring them to the table in a in a finished form now they realize it the how much time how much effort are required working women have never faced this kind of crisis earlier to many people it may appear that they were on practical working from home they were almost on half leave far from it i have been interacting with a good number of women across Uh, different boundaries of uh, city or country all over the world all over the country working women has faced the biggest crisis because a child if they have younger one if they have a toddler if they have a young child child would see the mother close by so naturally the child are used to demanding closeness demanding being taken in the lap taken in the arms being loved being pampered child demand after seeing the mother would double up or triple up and the bigger child at the home who otherwise used to be 10 hours out of the home but now he is at home so he also regresses to become a child three four times in a day cup of tea or snacks or bajia or pakodi or this kind of food or that kind of food so naturally the demand on the mother or on the wife increase considerably very few people realize that she was a working woman so most women who were working and confined to the home working from home they faced the toughest challenge because however qualified they may be however educated they may be on whichever position they may be in the bank or the finance institution or in the school or in the college or wherever deep down they are essentially a woman and let me say it upfront having learned from great mothers 
great woman whom I have had opportunity opportunity to interact with closely. That they are essentially, as Mr. Lal has already said, they have largely heart which goes out to take care. They have genetic, psychological compulsion, and compulsion may not be the appropriate word. They have need to extend out, to reach out, to take care. They can't see the people who are close to them suffering, denied of the breakfast, or delayed for the lunch, or delayed for anything else. So they underwent many kind of guilt because they also have another quality most women have inbuilt quality of loyalty, loyalty towards the family, towards the near and dear one, to take care of them, commitment towards them, and loyalty towards the organization where they are working for. So they are in job and now they have been asked to work from the home. They have a great sense of loyalty which they can't compromise. They can't say to their employer or to the boss, okay, I would come back after two hours. They have to be on the duty. Now this led to conflict between the job and the family. And most women are unconsciously, unadvertently prone to having guilt. And many of them, they underwent guilt that we are not doing justice to either of the party or both the party, office as well as home. And that guilt drained them their vital emotional energy. So many women have undergone different kind of conflict that they are not being able to play their role as much as they were supposed to, either towards the office, which obviously if the office would not get the work required, work required in the required time, in the stipulated time, on the stipulated quantity or quality, the office people will not spare anyone. But the family people also begin complaining about the delayed breakfast, delayed tea, delayed so on and so forth. So women have undergone great pressure, great strife and strain in the last few months. And I genuinely appreciate most women all over, especially poor women, poor young women who are sitting over here. If they show their frustration, very often it is not taken well into their account. And different people have different ready comments about them. That's why I said at the beginning, more than this character, I'm a human being. How many husbands, how many sons, how many children realize what enormous responsibility mother is playing? We all take them for granted. We all take it for lightly. As long as we are provided, as long as we enjoy the privileges, we don't realize what makes to bring these privileges to us. Last nine months had been learning experience, not only for women, they have faced the challenges much more for us to see closely how the house is run, to see very closely how women function, to see closely how their mind gets divided into different responsibilities. So I genuinely appreciate each one of them, wheresoever they are listening to this program, as well as four young women over here. I thank them. From the bottom of my heart, they have done a great job. Be it my daughter, be it my daughter-in-law, be it my relatives or my friends. So I wish them all the best for the coming year. They are wiser, they are stronger, and thanks to them, they have made us also wiser and stronger and more practical to do things in a better way. Over to you, Mr. Lal. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rajivanan, for giving your view. And Dr. Rajivanan said that the last 30, 35 years has seen the change in India. And the women were qualified and they started working. The atmosphere, working uh, climate has changed and uh, the working women, uh, number of working women increased drastically. Uh, but he says in this last year, the 2020, because of the COVID pandemic, the challenges, lots of challenges, uh, the working women faced. And the main challenge was to keep a harmony between household as well as the uh, working uh, work where she, uh, the office uh, works because if she's working from home which generally the uh, women working women were doing at uh, during the lockdown at that time to keep a harmony because uh, the if the child is small a toddler more demanding uh, and if even if he's a teenager or grown up he also demands or she also demands that uh, every time the mother will be serving uh, them the snacks or the tea and coffee. And similarly, the office work 
they also want the things to be done in a fixed time and that is what a very very challenging thing and uh, um, dr rajivanan says and this uh, created a guilt uh, among the working women because they are now either uh, they are keeping the uh, office uh, people happy because of the work extra workload which they uh, she, they have to do at home because the uh, everyone is at home and uh, they she, she cannot keep the everyone at home happy because she has to also complete her assignments or the works given by the office so there was a lots of dilemma but still uh, because uh, the quality of the women is that they work from have by hand by head as well as from heart so they are having more uh, devotion for work whether it's a household work or for the office work and that's why uh, they have completed uh, this time in a very very uh, uh, comfortable way in one way and uh, it's uh, according to dr rajivanan he salutes all the working women because uh, this, this was a very very challenging year uh, which uh, the working women has faced thank you very much uh, dr rajivanan for giving your views uh, now i would like to invite my next guest and she is miss preeti manucha miss preeti is teaching in army public school at ayodhya faizabad she is mcom bed she is having experience of 24 years out of which 19 years of service in army public school that is at faizabad uh, ayodhya in addition to her te teaching professions she is also a social activist and event organizer she is a member of school administrative management committee she was awarded cash prizes and various certificates of merits as well as certificate of excellence in teaching from hrd minister miss smriti irani in the year 2016 she is also tech savvy and uses computer and other learning aids as a teaching method she hosted and participated in various workshops for excellence in academics and discipline she made great contribution in bringing laurels to her institution a welcome uh, miss priti manucha on our show miss priti you have heard what dr rajiv anand has mentioned now we would like to know uh, the challenges faced by the working women in 2020 miss priti manucha please thank you sir good morning to one and all who are hearing me i am being given an opportunity to express my views on the topic 20, 2020 a challenging year for working women yes it is very true i working as a teacher certainly faced challenges this year starting from mid of march which is continuing till date in this era of pandemic i want to say firstly the working women are an important constituent of financial position financial soundness of the household she gives a contribution to the family which is highly affected in the present scenario as number of cases of unemployment is increasing in this pandemic as well as businesses who are still continuing do not have funds as revenue being earned by the businesses are being lowered down i am must talk about many women who have to quit their job as the schools are shut down and child care is not available even support system is also unavailable in the present period of covid women entrepreneurs who have small businesses are struggling as most of the businesses have come to an end women entrepreneurs who are specialist i may talk about many women are running their boutiques many women are running their saloons have to shut down their as there is no demand of 
new clothes as survival people are struggling to survive in this pandemic extra expenses are to be curtailed and even catering services are no longer demanded i must also talk about even management enterprises have no orders these days i mean to say the focus on specialization which were merits in good times have made it an all or nothing bargain in this tough time these problems has affected women in different manner all are suffering and facing challenge due to unemployment lesser pay etc etc next i want to discuss about the burden of unpaid and care and domestic work which has exploded on the shoulders of working women as discussed by lal sir as well as dr rajiv anand non unavailability of supporting staff is also a bigger problem on an average before this pandemic women used to work for four and a half hours to five hours for aapka uh, core services at home for unpaid work but now she has to give eight hours of work and that too is insufficient as all the family members have increased all the family members are there at home and the demands have increased this includes parents husband children and the services which she has to render includes giving care to parents looking after health and hygiene laundry everyday meal cleaning of household education of children etc etc which cannot be taken lightly we cannot leave it aside and do only office work apart from household work is also to be taken care of ultimately i want to say it is the responsibility of the women to stand on her toes and fulfill all work demand when i talk about work demand it means both office as well as household can you imagine if she is working woman maintaining balance between the two office as well as household one is paid and other is unpaid is a big challenge for her thus women are facing tremendous challenge due to expanded duties at home as well as they are juggling with their career i would like to take my example although i am in teaching profession since last 25 years but classroom teaching with proper gadgets in school environment is totally different from online teaching it seems to be very easy people talk about work from home kya hai ghar par hi to hai no need to go anywhere it saves time but reality is something else instead of 6 hours of work office work we are giving 10 to 12 hours of working per day which also fall short along with this there are also certain other associated aspects which needs to be enhanced what are the areas where excellence is required where enhancements has to take place are very first i must talk about professional development every working woman has to be tech savvy 
and technological upgradation cannot be implemented in a day or two vast learning has to take place it is a serious challenge for every working woman as every working woman may not be technically educated secondly i must talk about resources for this online working at home online working various resources are required for resources finance is an important aspect and in the stuff time financially every working woman may not be sound to procure and make use of gadgets required may it be laptops android phones camera headphones broadband connections etc again fulfillment of job requirement is quite challenging in today's environment proper place or space of working has to be created means of creation of office environment at home is quite difficult these days people have shortage of space even whole family is there at home everyone wants their own room and middle class family has small houses or flats which do not suffice the need of every family member here also women have to compromise and adjust the space as in her list priority is parents children husbands all are to be taken care of let me also talk about ki this may lead to heightened stress and anxiety among the working women thus for many working women the pandemic is up ending their work life balance and affecting their physical and mental health which must be taken care of at the priority level so that heightened stress and anxiety due to pressure of expanded responsibilities and workload both of office as well as household is reduced and proper balance can be maintained between the two thank okay. you sir and thank you very much uh, ms priti for giving your views and ms priti said that this pandemic this year because the pandemic started somewhere in mid march and this year is very very challenging year for the working women because many job cuts salaries have been reduced as well as businesses suffered especially when the working women or the for the women entrepreneurs like uh, boutiques or the catering business they all suffered very badly and that's the financial uh, uh, pressure on the working women secondly those who are working uh, in, in during the pandemic come from home work from home they were also suffering because the earlier they were working for 6 hours now they have to work for 10 12 hours that is also not sufficient more demanding because the entire family is at home so the families demand so more as well as the they have to do uh, the online education because she is a teacher she says that i am being a teacher i have to do the online teaching and the online teaching is not a cup of tea it's it's a very tough thing because they they were not trained and no one is trained earlier the for the use of the technology and the tech this is cannot be done overnight uh, so it is a very tough thing to be done plus uh, the the hardware the software required for the technology is not easy means the financially as well as many other challenges and according to dog miss uh, uh, priti the main challenge is because of all these problems the mental and physical health of a working women suffered which is going to it will take time but uh, it that's why this year was not a good year for the working women according to miss priti thank you very much miss priti for giving your views now i would like to invite my next guest and uh, she is miss neeta tandon miss neeta tandon 
is teaching in uh, Nirmala Convent Inter College, Lucknow. She is MA from Kanpur University. She did her nursery teacher's training from Delhi. Uh, welcome, Ms. Uh, Neeta Tandon on our show. Uh, Ms. Neeta Tandon, you have heard uh, Dr. Rajivanand and you have heard Ms. Preeti. And you have kept both of your views. You also do teaching, like Ms. Preeti also does. And you will have also seen some challenges, or whatever challenges you have come in your time. So we want to know from you that for 2020, working women, for the work of स्त्री के लिए कितना चुनौती भरा वर्ष था मिस नीता टंडन प्लीज आई एम अ टीचर मैंने एक नर्सरी क्लास पढ़ाती हूँ पैंडमिक के समय मैंने बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस फेस किए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सैलरी डिडक्शन कि हमारी स्कूल में सैलरी डिडक्ट हो गई थर्टी परसेंट उसके अलावा वी हैव ओनली मोबाइल डाटा हम मोबाइल डाटा से टीचिंग करते थे तो उसमें नेटवर्क इशू बहुत आने लगा पेरेंट्स कंप्लेन करने लगे कि टीचर की आवाज नहीं है पिक्चर नहीं है तो इस तरह से बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम आई फिर हस्बैंड का भी जॉब सफर कर रहा था क्योंकि वो मार्केटिंग जॉब में थे तो मार्केट पूरा ही मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम जाना नहीं हो पाता था क्लोज हो गया पूरा उसके बाद बच्चों की भी स्कूल बंद हो गए तो उनकी भी कोचिंग वगैरह बंद हो गई उसमें भी प्रॉब्लम हमें काफी फेस करनी पड़ी उसके अलावा स्कूल में बहुत सारे टीचर्स थे और फोर्थ क्लास एम्प्लॉय थे उन्होंने भी बहुत जब सैलरी डिडक्शन हुआ तो उसमें हमने फाइनेंशियली प्रॉब्लम फेस करने लगे ये सारी चीजें हमें बहुत प्रॉब्लम कर रही थी उसी में ये जो सिचुएशन थी इसको हैंडल करना हमारे लिए बहुत मुश्किल हुआ घर में रह कर काम करना मेंटली हम क्लास कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन क्लासेस हम बच्चों को दे रहे हैं पर दिमाग लगा रहता था कि घर में बच्चों को भी अभी नाश्ता देना है हस्बैंड को भी नाश्ता देना है लंच भी प्रिपेयर करना था मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम स्कूल टाइम जो ऑनलाइन क्लासेस हमारे होते थे वो मॉर्निंग नाइन टू ट्वेल्व होते थे सुबह नौ बजे से बारह बजे के बीच हमें ऑनलाइन क्लासेस डिफरेंट टाइम शेड्यूल्स में हमको लेने पड़ते थे उसके बाद दिमाग पढ़ाई में बच्चों में फिर पेरेंट्स की कंप्लेन स्कूल में प्रिंसिपल के कॉल्स कि अभी यहाँ क्लास नहीं हो रही अभी ये प्रॉब्लम हो रही है नेटवर्क इशू हो रहा है टीचर्स को तो सैलरी ऑलरेडी डिडक्ट अगर आपकी ये प्रॉब्लम सॉर्ट आउट नहीं हुई तो और डिडक्शन हो जाएगा मे बी आपकी जॉब तक जा सकती थी ये सारी चीजें फेस करने के बाद घर में फाइनेंशियली जब हस्बैंड की सैलरी ऑलमोस्ट बंद हो गई पूरी जिम्मेदारी मेरे ऊपर आ गई यानी कि लेडीज पर आ गई फोर्थ क्लास एम्प्लॉय में भी यही चीजें सफर की उन्होंने कि उनको सैलरी 50 परसेंट लेस करके दी जाने लगी और जो हमने काम वाली रखी हुई थी क्लीनिंग हाउस होल्ड क्लीनिंग के लिए ये सारी चीजें भी हमारी पूरी तरह से बंद हो गई हमें ये सारी चीजें खुद करनी पड़ी मना मॉर्निंग में फाइव ओ क्लॉक और फोर ओ क्लॉक पे उठने के बाद भी पूरा दिन वर्क करने के बाद भी ये लगता था कि अभी भी शायद दिन कम पड़ रहा है काम करने के लिए तो किस तरह से इसको मैनेज किया जाए काम करने के लिए कि थोड़ा दिन बड़ा हो जाए फिजिकली वी आर ऑन द ऑनलाइन टीचिंग बट मेंटली इधर उधर हम डिस्टर्ब रहते थे समटाइम्स हम लोग को स्कूल भी कभी कभी बुलाया जाता था इंडिविजुअली क्लास वाइज कि आके आपको यहाँ पर अटेंडेंस देनी है आ, कुछ वर्क है जो आपको कंप्यूटर में करते करने पड़ेंगे बच्चों के लिए रिलेटेड है रिपोर्ट कार्ड रेडी करना है मार्क रजिस्टर रेडी करने हैं क्वेश्चन पेपर पेन ड्राइव में हमें देने हैं टेस्ट पेपर हमें पेन ड्राइव में देने हैं ये सारी चीजें हमको सफर करनी उसके बाद भी हमें आ, स्कूल में डेटा वगैरह जो भी मिलते थे उसको हमें लाके घर में उसका काम करना पड़ता था अटेंडेंस रजिस्टर मेंटेन करने पड़ते थे ये सारी चीजें हमें ऑनलाइन ही करनी पड़ती थी तो हमें टाइम को मैनेज करना स्कूल को मैनेज करना घर को मैनेज करना और साथ में बच्चों को मैनेज करना बहुत ही मुश्किल हो रहा था उसके बाद बच्चों की कंप्लेन की मम्मा नाश्ता कुछ नहीं बनाती 
सिंपल ब्रेड दे देती है हस्बैंड हाँ सिंपल पराठा सब्जी मिलता है ये सारी कंप्लेन भी हमें फेस करनी पड़ती थी क्योंकि जब सारे हाउस होल्ड हो गए किचन हो गया लॉन्ड्री हो गई ये सारी चीजें मुझे ही मैनेज करनी पड़ती थी घर से कहीं नहीं जाना घर के अंदर ही हम बंद होके रह गए ना कोई आउटिंग हो पाती थी ना किसी से मिलने जब सिंपल आप बात कर सकते तो फोन के थ्रू ही बात करिए किसी से मिलना नहीं वीडियो कॉलिंग कर लीजिए दैट सेट उसके बाद लाइटिंग प्रॉब्लम लाइट इतनी जाने लगी कि ऑनलाइन क्लासेस भी लेना मुश्किल हो गया कि डबल खर्चे हो गए कि हमने ब्रॉडबैंड भी लिया और मोबाइल डाटा भी हमें लेना पड़ा तो उधर डबल खर्चा हो गया हमारे लिए इस तरह से हमने बहुत सारे पैंडमिक में प्रॉब्लम फेस किए फिर धीमे धीमे जब सारी चीजें सैलरी थोड़ी प्रॉब्लम जो देखते हुए सिस्टर ने हम लोग ने सिस्टर से बात करी तो हम लोग की सैलरी भी थोड़ी डिडक्शन कम हुआ थर्टी टू टेन परसेंट आ गया इस तरह से जब पैंडमिक लास्ट स्टेज में आने लगा <coughs> स्कूल थोड़े ओपन हुए अभी तो नाइन्थ और ट्वेल्थ हमारे चल रहे हैं क्लासेस स्कूल में वहां हम जाते हैं तो वहां पर क्लासेस देखनी पड़ती है कभी कभी Uh, कुछ प्रोग्राम्स होते हैं जो हमें वहां स्कूल जाके करने हैं फिर उसका होमवर्क भी घर में आके करना होता है तो ये सारी चीजें सफर करनी पड़ी हम लोग को थैंक यू डॉक्टर लाल थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नीता टंडन जी आपका एंड व्हाट मिस नीता टंडन सेड that how the working women and she was giving her own example she says she is a nursery teacher and in this uh, teaching profession uh, during the pandemic the uh, salary was cut to uh, up to 30% her husband's job uh, the salary was stopped and uh, everybody was at home so it was very very tough time to manage in the salary one salary that is also a reduced salary and uh, and over and above more and more demands from the children from the husband because they were all at home plus to manage the online classes as well as to go, sometimes to go to the college school uh, to attend the uh, uh, office works etc is not easy and over and above because uh, they have to take the data for the mobile they have to take a broadband and even the electricity failure is very frequent in uh, her state so when there is no electricity that's why uh, it is very very challenging time uh, for, for during the pandemic and she said because now after the when the uh, pandemic severity has reduced uh, now the salary has been uh, means now now only the deduction is 10% but still Uh, the problems are there because few classes have started so they have to go to see that uh, classes also then again they have to do the work from home and uh, online teaching for the nursery students so it is not easy and according to her it's a very very challenging time for a working women uh, thank you very much uh, miss neeta tandon for giving very very frank uh, views about the condition and the challenges faced by the working women in 2020 i am sure i i hope that uh, the 2021 will not be that bad although it's very premature to say anything now i would like to go and invite my next guest and she is miss rashi gupta uh, miss rashi gupta is ba llb honors llm she is guest faculty of law at university of delhi and bharti vidyapeet institute of management and research delhi she is pursuing phd in law she is researching the rights of domestic workers in india especially those who migrate and are then placed by placement agencies she has also worked in various university grants commissions projects towards legal education welcome ms rashi gupta on our show ms rashi gupta you have heard uh, dr rajiv anand ms uh, uh, preeti as well as ms neeta tandon and they have given their views Uh, and uh, out of the, these three, uh, that the two panelists, uh, the working women, they are in from the teaching profession. Although you are also in the teaching profession in one way, but you are also pursuing PhD in law. So so many degrees, very good. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Uh, now you. my question to you is: uh, Did this this year, twenty uh, twenty, 
uh, when everybody faced the challenges and especially those who are working in a private uh, companies or private uh, organization or entrepreneurs although you are working with the university of delhi so the, the, i don't think there should be any problem or the job or the salary cut uh, from you from the university but what what uh, and you are you are doing the research on the rights of domestic workers and uh, that to all migrants now domestic workers were uh, totally that during the lockdown they have to be at home and they also faced many many problems and challenges we have done a yes. program and in that uh, uh, the programs which was very very sad program because the the misery what they faced was really very very pathetic now we would like to know from you the 2020 a challenging year for working women miss rashi gupta please thank you sir thank you for all the kind words and uh, yes definitely 2020 and it's it's still i uh, personally on if i speak for myself i don't think that 2021 would be a respite for all of us especially the working women i think 2021 would also go the same way and especially for the teaching stuff because uh, we don't see educational institutes opening soon enough uh i also belong to the teaching fraternity and uh, i too can say that we really have faced a lot of challenges i will not say that humne kuch zyada face kiya baki uh, women workforce se aisa nahi hai but ha humne bahut sari cheeze aisi face ki jo teaching fraternity ne especially jo baki fraternities ko nahi karni padi but for me if i talk about my personal experience starting definitely from the technological aspects for sure like ekdam se uh, in the hamare delhi mein educational institutes jaldi band hue the as compared to the nation wide lockdown it was like almost 2 to 3 weeks before so as suddenly we were informed that from tomorrow onwards the schools are, will be shut and you have to work online i personally myself am not that tech savvy person and in fact i did not even know something what was zoom or google meet or uh, all these uh, softwares i didn't know anything about it and from next day onwards i was supposed to teach uh, college students who were very much tech savvy who were very much demanding who for whom you had to be really prepared with your lectures because they are google savvy people and they can google any time and put questions to you so you had to be prepared for everything and at the same time i had to take care of my uh, two and a half then now she's three but uh, daughter she started with her school and uske char din school she went to the school for four days and fifth day it was locked down for her as well so for her she had absolutely no idea of what teaching was what learning was what was ma'am what was school she didn't know anything and i actually had to teach her i had to sit her with her classes all the time and uh, make her learn and at the same time those were the hours for my classes as well this was one aspect of what i faced as a challenge in lockdown this is this is a morning time now me being a lady obviously morning time meant household chores also i had to uh, jaise um, बाकी एस्टीम पैनलिस्ट ने कहा मुझे घर का भी सारा काम करना था जिसमें ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी इज एट होम विद जॉइंट फैमिली यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ एल्डर्स यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ हस्बैंड योर चाइल्ड योर पेरेंट्स इन लॉज एवरीबॉडी दैट आल्सो वाज गोइंग आई कैन डेफिनेटली से दैट डिस्पाइट डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट आई हैव आई रियली हैड वेरी कोऑपरेटिव इन लॉज इन दैट रिस्पेक्ट बट स्टिल as dr anand had said uh, i really agree to that point even if even if they bring me out in various ways there was some some way other there was some guilt quotient in my mind because i i somehow felt that if if i'm taking a class i thought that no my daughter is asking me to play with her or my household work is calling me but that was not possible of course so i was talking about the challenges i was facing during lockdown and uh, despite having uh, i said that despite having very uh, cooperative in laws still there was some somewhere or the other there was guilt quotient because i i could understand myself that i was either not doing justice to my family or i was not doing justice to my work so you were correct in saying that there were obviously no salary cuts from the university but i was also working in a private uh, institution and there were of course uh, if even if there was no salary cut and in case we did not perform well 
there is always a, a, I mean, there is always an issue that we might lose our job in case we do not perform well so that was always there in our mind while uh, do, full during the lockdown and it is still there because right now also we are working from home uh, 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 along with other things apart from all this uh, somewhere down the line yes even the family members uh, were demanding a lot in the sense ki all, all, it was always uh, expected from us to uh, be with the family what how much uh, time does would a working woman require this would always be a question that uh, you are just towards your work and you are not at all interested in your uh, household these also were put to us sometimes but uh, yes all all said and done we had to go through and through that time uh, and we uh, somehow did and we are still doing and for the 2020 was definitely a very very good the working women because managing children household work salaries everything at the same time was really naughty for us thank you sir thank, thank you uh, uh, advocate rashi gupta and she says that uh, although there was no salary cut from the delhi university but the challenge was the overnight they were told to teach online and the, all the uh, senior students, uh, uh, law students, and when she has to ch teach, she has to be prepared because it's not uh, that easy to teach a uh, uh, good uh, senior students because they are quite aware about uh, they are tech savvy, they know uh, about Google and everything. But what Advocate Gupta said that because she is not that tech savvy, it was very very challenging. And the second thing is the household work. After all, she says, that although her family was quite cooperative, but still she has to work. And because she was having a very small child of two and a half years, and her, uh, her classes were also her, correct, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, Advocate Gupta, she's your daughter, two and a half years? Uh, no, we can't hear. Anyway, the, the, the small child and uh, the classes of... Uh, the child and she yes. has to okay thank you so she has to sit with her daughter also for the classes and the same time her uh, uh, teaching classes are also on and at the same time she has to cook the breakfast so it was a very very challenging time and there were no helps no meat uh, meats or the or the home uh, uh, workers were there and it is so she said it's a very very challenging time of the year 2020 and she says the way it is going on she is not that hopeful that 2021 will also give any respite to this thank you very much advocate rashi gupta for giving your views now i am going to my last uh, uh, guest and she is miss priyanka kharbanda uh, miss priyanka kharbanda is the marketing manager of jubilant food works limited uh, I would like to explain uh, for our benefit of our viewers, which the Jubilant Food Works Limited holds the master franchise for Domino's Pizza in India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, and also for Dunkin's Donuts in India. She is a pharmacy graduate and MBA in marketing with certification in public health, nutrition, and IPR. Her endeavor is to continuously learn more while keeping it delicate balance between art and science. With 10 years of vast experience into marketing in the field of healthcare, natural and organic brands, she is passionate about launching brands and drive transformation for the brands. She is ambitious, self-driven, personal, personality, sorry, uh, she is ambitious, uh, self-driven personality who has developed a mature and responsible approach to any task or a situation. She loves reading, sketching, and traveling. Uh, welcome, uh, Ms. Priyanka Kharbanda on our show. Ms. Priyanka, you have heard earlier panelists. And uh, earlier panelists, uh, apart from Dr. Rajiv Anand, all were in the teaching faculty. You are the first who is a having a, a different uh, working experience. That is, a, you are a, in the marketing. And, uh, and you are marketing, why I have said uh, that, why I explained about Jubilee and Food Works, because that was not closed during even the lockdown. Uh, the uh, people were ordering food uh, uh, and pizzas uh, at home. 
and it was definitely it was a very very tough thing for you uh, to manage and to do keeping uh, everyone uh, in a very hygiene condition as well as see that they will also be safe although there were some uh, news came about the pizzas thing initially when the pandemic started but uh, you are the right person to explain about challenges you have faced in 2020 so 2020 a challenging year for working women miss priyanka kharbanda please yes thank you so much mr lal uh, for inviting me for the uh, webinar over here and a very good morning to everyone um, as uh, you know uh, introduced by mr lal i am a corporate professional who is engaged in you know building brands and marketing for almost a decade now uh, currently you know uh, of course i mean you know with dominos and dunkin and specifically the restaurant business it was way different uh, you know uh, in terms of you know uh, in the lockdown period as well so i'll just take you through my personal experience and how i you know uh, went through the entire nine months of the time and uh, probably you know would tell you that you know uh, uh, if there were some brighter sides to it as well so uh, you know as the lockdown started our daily routines faced a paradigm shift you know a home office is a very different environment as compared to its traditional counterpart so yes the initial few weeks took some time to sink in you know from being in a work mode in a family atmosphere because you know in office it's a very different environment there are big teams and everybody is in access physically to you know creating a comfortable place of working at home you know wherein you know you're surrounded by family members taking video calls also you know we are in touch with the top management so the kind of you know interactions required the kind of confidentiality is required in a, an organization is very different so you'll have to be very very you know you'll have to have your own space and uh, you know while working and you know uh, no disturbances and everything uh, is something which was a must so and also you know erratic work demand so we work almost 24 7 you know there is no uh, morning and evenings and you know off work time and on work time so the business demands such kind of you know uh, uh, you know inclusion so also you know a lot of communication issues which comes with an online mode of working because you know you can't really physically access to somebody the, all the meetings with big big teams 20 to 25 people uh inside the office or probably a pan india meeting wherein you know everybody from the region is you know joining you there are hundreds of people you'll have to listen to them understand you know their uh, queries and demands and you know uh, problems which are very new to the lockdown period and the kind of you know um uh customer issues they are facing and everything and you have to resolve so uh the mode uh, changed all of a sudden and uh, you know uh, it was quite difficult to initial few months to you know really sync it up also having no house help you know at all to top it all up so yeah it was a juggle uh, so as to say but you know gradually uh, as the new normal started settling in we were able to see the brighter side also of the lockdown you know, uh, if I give you a small example, you know, just getting a proper sleep and not waking up in anxiety of reaching office can make a big difference to our mental health, you know, uh, turning endless coffee breaks. So example, you know, uh, in office, you know, there is no this thing, you know, you'll have eight to 10 cups of coffee because you're under pressure all the time, you know, in the stress under the lens and, you know, you take up so much of caffeine So to, you know, probably if you can, uh, you know, just cook simple meals at home and make time for workouts in between calls can be really therapeutic. So, you know, it's all about personally investing yourself into, you know, taking care of your home and family while balancing work is all we have craved forever, being a corporate person. Because, you know, our works were always 24-7. So it was a bit of a respite that at least, you know, we don't have to spend two hours in a lifeless traffic. We can be at home. Uh, we are already tech savvy. We always used to, you know, I mean, uh, we can do stuff online as well. Initial time, you know, was difficult. But, you know, slowly, steadily, the mantra, what I believe is adaptation. So it's at the end of the day, it is all about seeing 
either the glass half empty or half full so i would say that you know treat this as an opportunity and strategize for a better future shift your morning anxieties of reaching office into some insightful meditation sessions utilize time spent on lifeless traffic jams into probably picking up a hobby or you know cook fresh food rather than ordering in uh, even if i am from a restaurant business i would say that <laughs> because it's important you know from the health perspective and above all you know spend the precious time with your loved ones as for sure this time is never going to come back so that's you know my mantra of handling the lockdown also a very important thing which you know dr rajiv anand mentioned about working women uh, i would say you know if this shift of you know being flexible you know to work from home and also to work from office becomes a new normal it will be a blessing for working women because you know there are a lot of people a lot of women specifically who are not able to continue with their careers because of you know um, uh family commitments as they can you know they have to take care of their family children also work not being able to present at home all of that stuff so they can always continue devoting time for work and family both create a balance of which you know we women i am sure are a default masters of so we can do endless multitaskings while maintaining a very delicate balance of life perfectly so i think you know if taken this into consideration our life can lives can be really better yeah thank you so much dr lal for that thank thank you very much uh, miss priyanka for giving your views and she has giving a one very good advice please don't order for any packed date food or, or anything from outside although she is marketing manager of a dominos pizza i am sure tomorrow you are going to get some good pink mail from you <laughs> <laughs> once in a while it is okay but okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah uh, i mean uh, i'm also a nutrition person so i would always say to create a balance <laughs> okay thank you and miss priyanka what she says uh, it was really initially very challenging because uh, uh, she has to handle earlier she has to go in person she has to handle the people because in the lockdown uh, everything was closed but the uh, food delivery from Uh, were on and then she has to handle uh, hundreds and hundreds of people uh, virtually online it is not that easy uh, without any such type of experience earlier experience and the personal touch which uh, she used to have while talking with the staff or the employees were missing but still uh, they have managed and she says definitely the demand from the home because you are working from home once you are working from home the atmosphere is different uh, you are not in the office atmosphere so these all there were there lots of challenges but she says that positive side is also there earlier she has to uh, wake up early with full anxiety to rush to the office uh, wasting time in the traffic as well as consuming eight and cups of coffee uh, so all these things were saved and that's uh having uh, enjoyment at home with a uh, near and dear one so that is a plus point and her uh, advice is that uh, why, uh, even after the pandemic if work from home and uh, uh, in person can be make a, a clubbing uh, the merge and uh, then it will be better uh, instead of uh, either work from home or work from office only thank you very much uh, miss priyanka for giving your views now my question is to dr rajiv anand dr rajiv anand you have heard all everyone and uh, you have seen uh, what is the condition today in india especially for the working women i am saying india purposely because every one of them mentioned that they have to do work at home and the family were very much demanding which is not the case in other countries where everyone share the work uh the husband or the children they all do the work of household whatsoever so it was not a pressure on the working women abroad but now my question to you is we all are reading for last two days the new virus the british uh, virus and now yesterday evening the report is that south african virus has also come and uh, if it is going to be there and this is although the Uh, severity has not yet been established and if it will be there 
although we don't want it, but suppose it will be there and the 2021, as one of the panelists says, that she is also not expecting that it will be better. Then the working women who has suffered for last nine months and to extend more again and again, because now uh, two states I know, there's a night curfew in Maharashtra as well as in Karnataka. And um, the conditions are a bit, uh, I will say it's not that easy. So when this is the situation, what you feel, how the working women are going to cope up, they have already suffered nine months, which we have seen today. And if again, they have to be in the lockdown and again, they have to suffer, how their mental health uh, is going to be affected. Dr. Rajivanan, please. Yes, I hope I am audible. Yes, please. Okay. Back to you, Mr. Lal, you asked a very pertinent question about where do we go from here? 2020 is ending, 2021 is beginning, what have we learned and how we can apply our learning from here? First of all, let me compliment all the four ladies. It has been a learning experience. It is a heart touching uh, hearing from each one of them out of leaf, out of their personal life from different fields and half of them from teaching fields. I would look at it this way, that we all have been confined or ensconed in our comfort zone for long. And pandemic or lockdown has been a shaking up, waking up experience for each one of us with a hidden agenda from some powers, somewhere higher up, whatever name we may call it. Had lockdown not been there, we would have continued being in the comfort zone. Last nine months, we were woken up, shaken up to learn many new things, to value many things what we have, which we never valued adequately. And I would like to say it aloud, whether the new virus from UK or another feared virus from South Africa may come or may not come. But then many more illnesses may come in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. Many more new challenges may come. Last nine months have been a kind of a vaccination for us. Help us prepare to meet new challenges. Help each one of us be it in teaching job or medical profession or Mr. Lal in his life or Ms. Priyanka. Each one of us have been helped to prepare ourselves for bigger bigger challenges, larger difficulties, and what would help us. One thing which I have to say it aloud, as uh, Mr. Lal mentioned about it, the teachers undergo that field kind of thing. Let us accept our limitation. Let us be aware of our potentiality. And let us be contained whatever best we are doing. Let's not set a very, very high unachievable target of being perfect, of being perfect, no. Let's be total in whatever we are doing right now. I'm talking to everyone over here. So whatever best I can do, whatever best I can do, if I set a target, this is my perfection, then I would always be conscious about that I'm not able to do this, I'm not able to do that. Meet about fame or about my language or my pronunciation or about my face or about my hair, then I shall be doing less than what I am capable of doing it in this moment. First, let's do our best and not get straight, not get disturbed by our image and perfection. It is applicable to us and equally is applicable to everyone around us. Family members, husband, wife, other people in the society. Let's not be judgmental about them, what they are doing, what they are not doing. It. Let them do their best. Let's do away with the word called perfection, which is more to be practiced within than to be spoken aloud, point one. Point two, I would like to say, let us accept, appreciate, and admire the contribution of everyone in our life, our nearest and dearest one, loved one, primarily, our family members, our elders, secondarily. The God, which is invisible to us, whatever name we may call it, who is running this whole world, and the nature around us, which is the visible manifestation of that power called God. Let's connect to our deeper self, 
let's connect to our near and dear ones and parents. Let's connect to nature and let's connect to God, invisible power, and then leave it and be happy. Do your best. Live every moment. Breathe every moment. Breathe life and breathe happiness into every moment. You shall be winner. Hell with new virus from UK or new virus from South Africa or anywhere. Many more may come. Many more would go away. Over to you, Mr. Lal. Thank you very much. Uh, many more will come. Many more will go, says Dr. Rajiv Anand. Very positive note. Uh, let's hope. Whatsoever you say, one we must uh, uh, face uh, whatsoever will come. Uh, now my question goes to my next panelist, and uh, she is uh, uh, Miss uh, Preeti. Miss Preeti, my question to you is: You have mentioned that the challenges were in the work from home; that one has to see household work, demanding husband, children, family members. Now, my question to you is, is it the fault of our society or our culture that we have not trained our men folks from the beginning to do the household work? Why all the responsibility lies with the girl or the women? Don't you think being, being a teacher, this is the fault of the teaching also in India? Why it was not taught? from the very beginning that the boy or the girl, there is no difference. Sorry, some disturbance is coming. Yes, sir. Uh, so my question to you is, yes. why, it, why it was not uh, uh, been uh, trained from the very beginning uh, by, the, by the family and afterwards the responsibility of the teachers because the teachers are the, uh, there are three gurus, the parents and the next gurus are the teachers. Why they are not trained? Uh, that the all men folk, all the person, boy, or uh, there is no difference between boy and girl. They should also work. If they were trained or they were taught, then this problem which uh, you working women are facing would have reduced drastically. What you say about this, Miss Preeti? Yes, sir. You are right. He, uh, teaching, traditional teaching, which took place 20, 30 years back, was in such a manner that gender discrimination was there. Gender discrimination when we talk about men and women. Men can do this, men cannot do this, men cannot do household works, but women are supposed to do all household work, this, that, whatever. But now the era has changed. Now we are teaching boys even how to manage their affairs how to manage themselves, how to do laundry. If you are, uh, if you are uh, to go to hostel, how will you manage the things? So we are training them now, which was not the practically, uh, which was not being taken as a teaching curriculum in earlier days. So the era has changed. The scenario has changed. So at present, I must compliment my family, my husband. He, he was not knowing, but time has made him learn the things. If I am not able to give snacks or nashta or something to my children, he supports me and he does the work. I move out, step out of the house at 7.30 morning. I'm back at 2.30, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So who is managing in between? It is the family members. It is the husband who is managing the affairs of the family. So I must not blame them. It is only the pandemic. Ki everyone, as everyone is there, demand has increased. So it is just a phase which has come in this uh, era in this pandemic. Okay. As soon as this will go, the things will again improve and we will be back to work and proper. So I must only, uh, I have few words to say. Ki every family member in society must be supportive enough and help in household and take care of working women and try to make her happy by small gifts, gestures, respecting her feelings so that there is no guilt and no frustration 
and she is able to cope up with uh, uh, cope up with the stress and anxiety and proves her loyalty towards work as well as family okay so thank you very much uh, miss uh, for giving such a good advice i hope that uh, people should uh, follow your this uh, word of advice now i would like to ask miss uh, neeta tandan are you there aap hain neeta ji ja ha neeta ji aapne bataya ki financial tensions kafi aaye aur jis waqt ye problems chal rahi thi pandemic mein ek jo ek working women ko एक या हर विमेन को एक मी टाइम चाहिए होता है कि अपना एक अपना समय चाहिए कि जिसमें वो अपने रिश्तेदारों से या अपने फ्रेंड से या अपने में कुछ सोच सकें या कुछ देख सकें वो मी टाइम तो बिल्कुल खत्म हो गया क्योंकि जब आप घर में हैं तो आपको वर्क भी करना है और घर का भी काम इतना करना है जो पहले मी टाइम मिलता था तो वो किस तरह आप उसको किस तरह आपने लिया और कैसे उसके उस चैलेंज कैसे सहा क्योंकि आजकल आप पे मी टाइम उस वक्त नहीं था जब लॉकडाउन चल रहा था सर मी टाइम तो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट था लेकिन अपने लिए मैं बिल्कुल टाइम नहीं निकाल पाई स्कूल आज ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस के बाद हमें असाइनमेंट स्टडी करने पड़ते थे बच्चों के लिए उसमें बच्चों के लिए वीडियो भी प्रिपेयर करिए सर्च करिए गूगल पे यूट्यूब पे वीडियोस जो बच्चों को हमें सेंड करने होते थे एट एनी टाइम कि आप सेंड करिए बच्चों के लिए गुड मैनर्स के वीडियो सेंड करिए तो मी टाइम में लिए तो मुझे कुछ टाइम ही नहीं मिलता कि मैं अपने पर्सनली हॉबीज कुछ कर सकूं जैसे मुझे कुकिंग बहुत पसंद है कुकिंग मैं करना चाहती थी बट इस टाइम में कुकिंग जस्ट फॉर से कि पेट भरना है और कुछ नहीं करना है क्योंकि बाकी काम स्कूल से रिलेटेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस से रिलेटेड इतने ज्यादा होते थे कि जो चीज हमें ऑनलाइन वो ऑनलाइन की वजह बाद हमें ऑन पेपर भी मुझे शो करके स्कूल में सबमिट करने होते थे तो बस खाना ब्रेकफास्ट लंच डिनर नथिंग एल्स टू हॉबी को मैं अपने आप को कुछ इनहेंस कर पाती या कुछ नई चीजें कर पाती तो वो चीजें नहीं हो पाई सर ओके थैंक थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच नीता जी फॉर गिविंग योर व्यूज नाउ एडवोकेट राशि माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज इन दिस पेंडेमिक according to you the joint family versus nuclear family uh, some says joint family uh, was a boon because uh, due to the joint family uh, uh, everyone was close coming very close and uh, they were taking care of the children and what not and some says nuclear family was good because no responsibility of the elders the in laws or the parents and they they the less work and more because uh, in a joint family lots of demanding families as as miss priti says that for last 30 years now we have changed our mind setup now we are talking but earlier nobody wants to work everybody is sitting as dr rajivanan says samosa bhajiya and uh, if those who are sitting especially the older generation sitting idly they have no work drinking tea and coffee and asking for uh, lots of things so what is your opinion in this pandemic Uh, you prefer you your views about the joint family and nuclear family according to which family uh, is better uh, during the pandemic uh so if you take my views on that see personally i belong to a joint family and uh, i'm not saying this to be politically correct <laughs> but but genuinely speaking as far as my experience went uh, because i was i belong to a very 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 cooperative family for me joint family was a boon during this time because uh, my in laws used to take care of a lot of especially my daughter when i was uh, working and taking classes and uh, my mother in law used to cook many in fact she had the uh, responsibility of the kitchen when i was working uh, apart uh, the other things as you said there were elders in the family so of course when my husband was helping me in cleaning she was definitely uh, objecting to it because uh, she was not used to saying that but uh, <laughs> probably uh, maybe uh, i don't know ultimately it will happen or not but maybe she might accept the fact that yes uh, the lady has a lot of work to do so the man also should help her uh, uh, in household work or other works as well i i know a few people who belong to nuclear nuclear families who said that thank god we didn't have our in laws with us else it would have been even worse but honestly i don't agree with that 
only because uh, I know that it was a tough time for everybody. And in fact, I don't think uh, in present times, any in-laws would be such that they would really lay all the work on the poor lady of the house and they would sit and have a cup of tea only ordering uh, as if it's, she's a domestic worker or something like that. I don't think so. Everybody was working. Everybody was helping their own respective parts. So I think that uh, probably joint family, in, especially in this time, was a boon. Also because it helped in uh, bonding of the grandchildren and the grandparents a lot, which is very much important uh, to have in these times. So I th I would definitely right. go for a joint yeah, family. Yeah, and I'm I, not saying this to be politically correct. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> I, and, and especially your in-laws knows that you are a... Uh, advocate and you are going to do the PSD, so they have they have to take care because Supreme Court recently passed an order. <laughs> you might be aware about that. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Miss uh, Advocate Rashi. Now, uh, Miss Priyanka, are you there? Miss Priyanka, I think she's not there. Miss Priyanka, are you there? If you are there, please switch yes, on yes. your video. I am okay. here, but I suddenly had to leave my office and I'm going to catch a cab, but I can answer your question. No, but we can't sure. see you. You have to switch on your video, then only we can answer because it's a live telecast. Okay. No? Can you see me now? No. Sorry, we can't see you. Uh, you are uh, like in India right now. So, until we will not you... see you. I'm, okay. I've no, opened no. my video. Uh, yeah, please open your video. Then only we, I will be asking you a question because the time is very less. 30 seconds only. Uh, if you can just... Uh, I, uh, no, I think uh, you are not there. You are trying, but you are not there. Anyway, so... I have opened my video. Can you see me now? No, we can't see you. Uh, anyway, so... Probably some signal problem. Okay, okay just, just uh, tell me one, uh, one only uh, this thing. That you say yeah. that uh, uh, you are doing the um, uh, online work from the home because your Domino pizzas and everything. Yes. Have you have what was have you experienced any resistance when you are leading when you are leading work when you are leading work from work uh, uh, leading workforce from home vis a vis uh, when you are doing it from office? Just a, a ten second answer because we can't see you. Sure. Sure, sure. So, I mean, yes, it was very different as compared to, you know. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Bianca. We can't uh, uh, see you, so uh, my studio says, no, it is not possible. Thank you very much. So, today you have seen the challenges faced by the working women. And and it's not, it's a, uh, around, uh, everyone has faced lots of challenges. But the brighter side is, out of these challenges, they have learned they have got knowledge how to handle it. And as Dr. Rajivan has mentioned, whatsoever types of new virus, let them come. Now we all are ready to face it. And that is a very, very positive thing because this 2020 has, uh, sub everybody faced lots of challenges, but it has also given lots of opportunities to learn many new things. And it has also changed the family values, the moral values, as well as the new teachings for the new generation. Uh, I am uh, today's program, which has been live telecasted by V4 News, Global TV, V4 Stream, Malnadu TV, News Gaon Se, Samva Sarokar News, as well as it was shown live on uh, Facebook and YouTube. And our endeavor is to bring to you every day a new topic. And tomorrow, our topic is a very special topic. Media conference with Lal Goel at 10.30 a.m. COVID vaccine. Yes, no, yes. Again, I am repeating the topic. COVID vaccine. Yes, no, yes. Because there is a lot of dilemma whether we should go for vaccination or not. And the panelists are Dr. Ramen Goel, FRCS, MS, President, uh, Indian Association of Gastrointestinal Endosurgeons uh, from Mumbai. Professor Nujat Hussain, Dean, Professor and Head of the Pathology, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, Institute of Medical Science, Lucknow, uh, Dr. Nishi Singh, Consultant, Medical Microbiologist, Conceived Gynecology and Fertility Hospital, UAE, Professor Virology and Infectious Disease, College of Medicine, Khalifa University, UAE, as well as Dr. Om Srivastav, Director, Infectious Disease, Jaslok Hospital, member COVID Task Force, Government of Maharashtra. So please tune in tomorrow for a very special program on COVID vaccine, yes, no, and yes. 
with media conference with Lal Goel at 10.30 a.m. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rajivanan. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, um, uh, Preeti. Thank you very much, Ms. Uh, uh, Neeta. Thank you very much, Ms. Advocate Rashi. And thank you very much, Ms. Priyanka, for giving your views. And thank you, all the viewers, for joining us and listening the very enlightening uh, views of our panelists. Thank you very much.